Here in this code sample, we have the definition for the class rectangle, and as you can see, width and height, parameters of the constructor in the class rectangle, were marked with the axis modifier protected, meaning that width and height are also two properties each and every object instantiated from rectangle will have, meaning that each and every object instantiated from the class rectangle will include inside of it two variables, width and height. Here we have the definition for area. Magical rectangle is a class that extends rectangle. Now pay attention to the fact that I instantiate magical rectangle, pass over, and I pass over three, uh, two, two values, while we don't have any constructor in magical rectangle for getting these two values well. Actually, there is an automatic um, defined constructor in every class we define as long as we don't define a constructor of our own that default one will take care of calling the constructor of the super class passing over the two values we passed over just in order to make sure the object is created properly and this is exactly what happens over here if I execute this code sample this is the output now take a look at the access modified protected it means that width and height two variables that exist in every object instantiated from a, cla a class rectangle or a class that extends rectangle as in this case however um, these two variables are accessed only from within the scope of the class rectangle or a class that extends rectangle so uh, over here we can actually access width and height without any problem however if i try to access width and height from here here i'm outside of the class rectangle as well as outside of the magical rectangle that extends it now i should get an error message saying that i can't access width because width is uh, protected if uh, width and height were private then it wouldn't be possible to access them from the function print details because print details is defined inside magical rectangle another class that extends rectangle over here we have the definition for the function area if it is a public function then there won't be any problem to invoke it outside of the class rectangle from everywhere as in this code sample However, if uh, I define area as protected, then area, it would be possible to invoke it from within the scope of rectangle and from within the scope of magical rectangle. So I won't be able to invoke area over here, but I can certainly invoke the method print details. Print details is public and here there shouldn't be a problem to invoke area. Now let's execute this code sample and should expect this output which is actually the result of uh, calculating 30 multiplied by 42 and with an height accordingly to the two values we passed over here when we instantiated magical rectangle.